Welcome everyone, I'm Tornado Ally. This is the second part to an advanced Firebase tutorial series in which we will make login, register, email verification, auto login, profile pictures, change email, change password, reset password, and finally the ability to delete your account. Make sure to follow part 1 if you haven't done so already because we will be building off of that. If you run into issues at any point in the tutorial, make sure to join my discord, the link will be in the description. And if you don't run into issues, I also post frequent updates on my work in progress game callout and it's pretty cool, so just join. To start off the tutorial, let's fix a quick mistake I made in the last video. In login button and register button, call the logic passing in the parameters needed. And that's all! Now let's fix the warning from the end of the first video. In your assets folder, open up the google-services.json. Just under project info, add, in quotations, Firebase URL, and set it to null. Make sure it follows this exact syntax. Save, and then go back to Unity and make sure this worked properly. As you can see, I am no longer getting the warning. Now let's add auto login. In the Firebase Manager, delete the check and fix dependencies logic at the bottom of the awake method. Instead, create a coroutine and follow the structure that we have been using for most Firebase logic. Make the call and hold it as a variable. Wait for the task to be completed. Then get the result. If it is available, then initialize Firebase. And if there's any error, just debug.log error it. Call this coroutine in a start function. Below, make another coroutine named check auto login, and then a method named auto login. When initializing Firebase, call check auto login right after the auth is set. In check auto login, wait for the end of the frame. Before adding this, I would get errors sometimes, although I am not sure why. After that, if there is a user, then call reload async. This will get the latest info on the user. Wait for that to be completed, then call auto login. If there is no user, then just go to the login screen. In auto login, again check if there is a user. If there is, then they are ready to be sent into the lobby. And if not, send them to the login screen. Later in this series, if a player were to change their account's email, password, or delete the account between play sessions, then what would happen is, first, check auto login would find the account used last time, reload the information, and realize that it has changed. Firebase will not allow you to log in because you have the old account information. Now that our code is in auto login, it will see that we really aren't signed in and go to the login screen. On the other hand, if no information has changed between play sessions, then that means you are automatically logged in and can change to the lobby scene. Hopefully that made sense, but that finishes up our auto login system. At this point in the series, we haven't added changing account info, so you should just always be automatically logged in. After testing a bit, let's get into the second half of the tutorial, adding email verification. Let's begin by making the logic behind sending a verification email. You'll notice a common theme among the Firebase functions where we will first check if there is a user, call a Firebase function, wait for the task to complete, and then get any errors. If there is an exception, get the Firebase exception, then cast the error code as an auth error. There really shouldn't be any errors though, but make it switch checking if the task was cancelled. The recipient's email was invalid. Or if there were too many requests. Then call await verification passing in false because an email was not sent, then the user's email, and finally the output. If there were no errors meaning the email was successfully sent, then call authui manager's await verification passing in true because an email was sent, then the currently signed in user's email, and finally null because an output is not needed. Also debug email sent successfully. 
In the Auth UI Manager, make that await verification method. This will take in a bool for whether or not the email was sent, then the email string, and finally the output, all of which the Firebase Manager just sent. Clear the UI and set the Verify Email UI to active. If an email was sent, then set the Verify Email text to Sent Email, then backwards slash N will go down to a new line as if you hit Enter. End it off by writing Please Verify, then the user's email. If an email wasn't sent, then debug Email Not Sent and the output. Then backwards slash N and Please Verify the user's email. In Clear UI, make sure to set the Verify Email UI to Unactive. Now let's call this Send Verification Email coroutine when it is needed. In the auto login method, still go to the lobby if they are verified. Otherwise, send them an email. When logging in, remove the temporary and instead send them a verification email. Finally, after registering, call the send verification email. Back in Unity, under the verify email UI, the button should call auth UI manager's login screen. That should wrap both of these features up and there shouldn't be any errors or warnings. In the next tutorial we will cover adding a default profile picture as well as updating to your own profile image. Tutorial number 3 will also cover making the lobby's UI actually load. Anyways, thanks for following this tutorial, consider subscribing if this helped you, and make sure to watch my other content as well.